So this problem says, use the fractions listed, fill in the blanks to make each number sentence true. We're given these fractions, 1 3rd, 1 6th, 2 7ths, 2 and 3 fourths, 1 8th, and 1 and 2 thirds. And part A is asking us to add two fractions together to be less than 1 half. So thinking about what that means, if we need to add two fractions to be less than 1 half, that means that we need to add two small fractions. So we want to pick two small fractions to add together to be less than another like fairly small fraction. And a general rule of thumb is that if the number on top is small and the number on bottom is big, that would equal a small fraction. small fraction overall. So let's pick which numbers, which fractions have a small top and a bigger bottom. So that would be one sixth would be, or the, the, big, the smallest top and the biggest bottom would be one over eight. So that would be a small fraction. And another small fraction would be one over six. Those look like the two smallest fractions. We can check those by adding them together. But since those are the smallest fractions that are listed, we could assume that that would be at least one correct answer. To add these together directly, one option is we need to find common denominators in order to add the fractions together. And what's a number that both 8 and 6 can multiply up to be. Well, 8 and 6, they can both multiply up to be 24. If we multiply 8 times 3, we get 24. And to keep the number balanced, if we multiply 3 times the bottom, we also have to multiply 3 times the top. So that so 1 8 would be uh, 3 over 24. And 6, to get 6 to 24, we have to multiply it times 4. And if we multiply the bottom times 4, we also have to multiply the top times 4. So we would get 3 fourths plus 4 over 24. And once we have common denominators, we add the numerators. 3 plus 4 is 7. And the denominator stays the same, 7 over 24. So to check this and make sure that it's less than 1 half, we need the top to be less than half of the bottom. And since half of 24 is 12, 7 is less than 12, then that confirms that this is less than 1 half. So again, we can do this more in a conceptual way using the fractions that they gave us listed, or we can check it numerically. OK, so that's the first one. Part B is we need to take one fraction and subtract it from another fraction to be greater than 1 half. Well, if we want to take a fraction and subtract another fraction to be bigger than some fraction, we need to have a big fraction in the first blank and subtract out a small fraction in the second blank. Because we want to be, if we want to be bigger than 1 and a half, we can be anything bigger than 1 and a half. So let's take our biggest fraction. We are given two mixed numbers, 2 and 3 fourths and 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 and 2 thirds is just a tiny bit bigger than 1 and a half. So let's take the bigger one. Let's take 2 and 3 fourths and subtract out a small fraction. We know that we have at least one that we could um, subtract out. So as long as we subtract out any fraction less than 1, we know we're going to be bigger than 2. So let's subtract out our small fraction, which we decided was 1 over 8. And we could go through the calculations like we did here, but I think we're safe to say that that is pretty good. Also, for part C, we're, we want to add two fractions to be bigger than two and a half. 
Well, if we start with two and three fourths, two and three fourths is already bigger than two and a half. So if we start with two and three fourths, then we, we can add anything to it and it's gonna be bigger than two and a half. So let's add something else that's big, like one and two thirds. So if we wanna be bigger than a big fraction, then we need to add a big number and then plus another big number. And that should give us a number that is bigger than a big number. So this will be at least three, like a minimum of three. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave these in the comments and I can work it out more slowly, like any part of it, if you'd like to see that worked out more slowly. Thanks for watching.